a human being, your consciousness was made up of good and of evil. There was just as much evil as good. And in fact, as a human being, your faith in evil was greater than your faith in good. You had much more confidence in the power of infection and contagion and weather and climate and food than you did in the power of God. You had far more fear of sin and of disease than you had confidence in God to dissolve them. As a human being, consciousness is made up of good and evil, but with a greater percentage of evil than of good. Now, as you were led to a metaphysical teaching, and it makes no difference which metaphysical teaching you were led to, this particular principle is common to all of them, that is, uh, that the power of good is greater than the power of evil. The power of truth is greater than the power of error. The power of the immortal is greater than the power of the mortal. The power of God is greater than the power of sin or disease. And so, in your metaphysical state of consciousness, you developed a whole new consciousness, a consciousness that began to lose fear, judgment and criticism of sin, disease, death, lack and limitation. And at the same time that you were losing your fear of these, you were gaining a greater awareness of the power of God, of the power of spirit, of the power of truth. You are reversing human consciousness. And now, you are beginning to understand more and more the nature of evil as a non-power. Certainly, as far less a power than the power of truth, the power of God, the power of spirit. Now, when you came to the infinite way, you were introduced to another consciousness. And if you have been understanding these writings correctly, you have been building a still higher consciousness. A consciousness of neither good nor evil. A consciousness of no power. A consciousness in which you do not use one power to overcome another power. A consciousness in which you do not have God to overcome sin, disease, or death, because you've already realized that sin, disease, and death have no existence. Therefore, you have no need of a great power when there are no other powers for it to operate on or through. If you have understood the message of the infinite way correctly, you have been building to a consciousness which can look out upon this universe with its appearances of both good and evil and recognize it's all illusion, whether it's good or evil. 